the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is at the center of a tug of war over who will lead it. Both the departing director and President Trump have named interim leaders throwing control of the independent watchdog agency into question. November.27, Washington, AP, with emails, tweets, and donuts, the two dueling acting directors battled for control of the nation's top financial watchdog agency, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, on Monday. Leandra English, who was elevated to interim director of the Bureau late last week by its outgoing director, sent staff an email offering Thanksgiving wishes. President Donald Trump's choice for the role White House Budget Director Mick Mulvaney then emailed staff to tell them to disregard any instructions from English. Laying down markers in what has quickly become a war of optics, both signed their missives acting director. English has filed a lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order to block Mulvaney from taking over the bureau. Judge Timothy Kelly, a Trump appointee approved recently by the Senate, heard arguments on the case late Monday afternoon but didn't immediately rule. The judge said he'll read the government's response once it's filed and go from there. Caption Close Mulvaney, speaking to reporters at the bureau, announced he was imposing a 30-day freeze on hiring and new rulemaking. Despite previous comments calling the agency a joke and an example of bureaucracy run amok, he said the bureau would remain functioning. This agency will stay open. Rumors that I am going to set the place on fire, or blow it up or lock the doors are completely false, he said. I am a member of the executive branch of government. We intend to execute the laws of the United States. Mulvaney said the day went smoothly, though he noted the power struggle may be awkward for people who know English. Responding to news reports about the conflicting leadership, he said, there was one person today who showed up at work claiming to be director. She wasn't here. Meanwhile, in a show of support, top Senate Democrats including Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and Sen. Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, met with English. Earlier in the day, it was a battle of optics as Mulvaney and English jostled for control via emails, tweets, and donuts. Mulvaney arrived Monday morning at the agency with donuts, and his staff tweeted out photos of him meeting with agency division heads. Meanwhile, English sent a department-wide email saying she hoped everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, Mulvaney quickly responded to English's email, instructing CFPB staff to disregard any directives from her. English was promoted from chief of staff to deputy director by Richard Cordray as he prepared to resign last Friday. Cordray was appointed to the position by President Barack Obama and has been long criticized by congressional Republicans for being overzealous but lauded by consumer advocates for aggressively going after banks for wrongdoing like in the case of Wells Fargo. He was one of the last Obama-era political holdouts.